What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sparky CJ back again with another Poke Talk episode um, 20. Today's episode is about Ash's Sinnoh team. The Pokemon he caught when he was in Sinnoh was the Star Raptor, the Infernity that he got from Paul, which was a Chimchar. Um, it was a Chimchar when Paul like got rid of it. He was like, you know, Chimchar, you're weak. I don't want you no more. Ash was like, you know what? Forget Paul, Chimchar, will you join my team? The one thing about his Chimchar is that it, um, whenever it Blaze activated, it will lose control. So it, lo it then it, dang, it's Blaze activated when it, when it was a Chimchar, a Monferno, and an Inferno. But when it activated was not no, but when it activated was dang, when it had activated when he was a Monferno, it evolved into Inferno. And then I remember when it evolved when it, when Blaze activated again when he was an Inferno against Flint. You know Flint. No, not Flint, um, uh, Voltner, there it is, Voltner, Ashley, like, oh man, I'm scared, he's about to lose control, he's about to beat me up, and then Martin, then uh, Inferno was like, nah, man, we cool, gave him a little thumbs up, and he was good. Next Pokemon was his Boizel that he originally had Apon that joined him, but then, oh, uh, he traded, he, he traded Apon for Boizel, because the Apom lighted like Pokemon contest and the Boizel won the battle. And so him and um Don made that made that trade and bam Ash got Boizel. Next up is his Torterra, which I remember he he got the Turtwig when um it was an episode he kept bite I know the, the gag with Turt with um Turtwig was it kept biting Ash's head over and over again. And then this one chick this one not one chick but one um lady she had like a stick and whatever on Turtle was about to bite her on the head. She just had a stick in the air and be like, ha ha, here you go, Turtle Wade. Stop biting on my head and bite on his stick. <laughs> and then he rolled into a grotto. And see, the thing is, the thing is Ash's Turtle was pretty fast. But when he evolved into a grotto, it got slow. And Ash was like, I, and Ash was like he didn't know what he was like, He didn't know what was going on. He was like, wait a minute. Why is grotto so slow? And then when he evolved, he finally evolved into a, it evolved, dang, it finally evolved into Torterra. During the episode of trying to help Flint, not Flint, dang it, helping Voltner in his own, in not his gym, but in the own freaking like lighthouse, something like that, it evolved. And there was Torterra. And Paul also had a Torterra, but I mean, I never see, I, I wanted to see Torterra versus Torterra, but you know, that will uh, never happen. Next up is his Glide score, which was a Gliger. I can't remember how he got the Gliger, because I, I knew that the way it evolved. Cause Gliger was a scared of heights. It was a scared of heights, and it was falling. And Ash threw the razor fang, and then he grabbed it, evolved into a glass score, and then picked up and saved Ash. Like I got you, man. I got you. I want to say, hmm, let me think. I want to say Paul had a glass score, not the Gliger, or the Gliger was was with a bunch of other Gligers, and Ash's Gliger. Couldn't fly. It was scared of heights, so he got left behind. I think that's what it happened. You guys let me know in the comments one about that whole thing with Ash's Gliger. But yeah, he threw the Razor Fang and he evolved into the Glide Score. And last but not least was the Gibble. I knew Gibble was. I know Gibble was following Ash a lot, and then finally joined him. And then I know the gag with um Gibble was that he couldn't. He every time he did Drago Meteor, it will um follow X U and then not X U. No Oshawa. It will fall Oshawa and then just explode, you know what I'm saying? Draco Meteor on Oshawa. Whatever. Oshawa could be chilling in a tree. Draco Meteor. And what was going on? Because the Draco Meteor always was a fail. It was it would never like, you know, hit, you know, go into the in the air and then explode into a bunch of um, you know, Draco Meteors, but it was just one little Draco Meteor that's, that this fought this slowly found as X you not actually freaking um Oshawa and bam attacked him over and over and over again. No, it was not Oshawa. I'm sorry guys, it was Pipla. I am so sorry. It was Pipla. Every single time, bam, Pipla, are you okay? Bam, Pipla, are you okay? Bam, over and over again. Till so um, Draco Meteor was finally executed against. I think that dude with the glasses that had um Duskinor, and that worked out perfectly. And Gilbo, he pins to work in a Pokemon League. So overall, Nash's team, his team seemed pretty good. I mean, if you look at his team, it's in um, it's a. I mean, cause no, cause if 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 he had to use it in Showdown, Star Raptor is BL, but it can't be using UU, but he can use an OU, so it, it, it becomes an OU team. Glass score is UU, Torterra is I think it's RU or NU, I think it's NU. Infernape is UU, Boizel is Little Cup, or it could be like P P U or something like that. Pikachu we already know is um, <clears throat> I think it's like NU for Pikachu or P. No, I think it's PU for Pikachu, and then Gibble. 
I don't think it's on Little Cup because it, it seems too powerful for that. So I think it's probably on um, PU or FU. But overall, I mean, his team is pretty good. In front of his power, we already we all know Star Raptor's power. Toterra can put in that work, and Glasgow is fast. He put in some work with Fire Fang, Giga Impact. Boizel was a boss with Ice Punch and all that good stuff. And Gibble, Draco Meteor, just having fun. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.